happy day five of Fatburn Blitz. I think I've decided, what the? I think I've decided I have no cups. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna talk and make this. Y'all have seen me make this probably over 20 times now. Maybe more than that, but anyway. Just doing my regular coffee that I do every single day. If you're new to the channel and you've never seen me make this before, I will link up above yesterday's video where I do it and you can see like the whole process. Anyway, or maybe, did I do it yesterday? I think I did. I'll link a video where I do the whole thing. Anyway, so I think I have decided that, by the way, I am down. six pounds in five days. It just goes to show that there was a lot of stuff that had creeped in and caused my body to like hold on to water and things. So just in five days of doing fat burn blitz, that's not typical, does not happen for everybody. I have to say that it's like results not typical, but when you truly like cut down and get back into a really, really good fat burn, which I can tell this morning I am in a good fat burn, um, you just feel good and stuff starts to come off, you know? I also like to tell people that Things that come on quickly, like weight that comes on quickly and doesn't have time to unpack its clothes, will come off quickly. Weight that has been there for a while and has unpacked all of its things and you really want it to, what is going on? Anyway, our coffee maker was going nuts. I'm gonna have to redo this whole cup of coffee. Um, anyway, as I was saying, weight that comes on and we've been, we've had that weight for a while. That takes longer to lose. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just do fat burn blitz until we go on our little mini vacation next weekend, which is on Friday. So what I'll plan to do then is I'll still be on program, but I'm not gonna be doing like fat burn blitz. Cause we'll be eating out a lot and it's hard to tell how many condiments and all that kind of stuff, so. And I will probably even do like a modified program then. A lot of people, when they go on vacation, they're like, well, I'm just gonna completely give up on program and I don't wanna do that. So what I think I will do is more of like a four and two. So I'll have lunch and dinner each day and just have fuelings around that. But I haven't fully gotten there yet. So we'll just see when that comes. But as of right now, I'm really excited. I'm hoping to be in the 160s by the time we go on vacation. Right now I'm at 171. So if I keep this up and if I continue to do what I know I need to do, I will probably be there, but if I don't, I'll just know that I've done everything that I can to be there. So, I still feel really, really good. I can see my body is shrinking in places that um, I had seen more fat in previously, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up and then I'm gonna have my coffee, but that is my first fueling for the day and I'll come to you for the second one. Okay, let me make sure everything's good. Okay, I need to stop popping up the viewfinder because then I find myself looking at it. All right, oh my gosh, I just had an amazing, Zoom call with my coaching mentor and a new coach of mine. Oh, I, I we all started crying. And so anyway, um, I'm ready to eat. I'm actually pretty hungry. I have found that the silky peanut butter shake goes really well with spinach. That sounds really funny to say, but it just adds this creaminess to it. And not that the silky peanut butter shake is not already creamy, but the creaminess of the silky peanut butter shake mixed with the spinach, don't you dare throw that pumpkin at me. It's a toilet pumpkin for Shotzi. Um, I don't know, it's just really, really good. So I'm gonna add some ice and then some water to it. And then maybe a little more water. I don't like like slushies at all. I want it to be smooth. And then, hold on just a second here. And then I like to throw my silky peanut, actually I like to throw my spinach in before my silky peanut butter shake. Half a cup going in. And last night I had that omelet, but I, or that, it was more like scrambled eggs, but I think I might actually do an omelet tonight with spinach. I'm not planning on going out to eat or anything, but I can do spinach with some guacamole. Okay, I have a minute and 40 seconds left. I just looked over and it had stopped because it ran out of space on my 128 gigabyte memory card. Anyway, and then I was looking through to see what to delete and there was pictures of Little Miss when she was a month old. So sad. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. But as I was saying, this would be a really good way to help your little ones get their greens in by just throwing it into a shake or you know something like that. It would be perfect, so. 
there's a little something to think about as Avery gets older. Okay, hopefully that didn't wake up the baby because I do have some things I want to do right now, but if it did, oh well. Perfectly creamy. Okay, the baby is so fussy, so Robbie went to go put her down for a nap. That tooth is so stinking close and she gets really mad when that happens. So, obviously I would too if I had a tooth popping through. So I just made a brownie, something quick so that I can go get some more work done while she's napping because she's kind of in this phase right now where she just wants to be held because she's got a tooth popping through. So, of course, I'm gonna be doing that, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat a brownie and then I'm gonna go work on editing the vlog for day two of Fat Burn Blitz. I'm so behind on editing, but it'll be okay. So, we'll see you for fueling number four. But Robbie has gone for the weekend. He's going to the ranch, so it's just the girls and Shiner. I'm gonna get out a silky peanut butter shake. I'm gonna get her fed. Hey, I'm right here. And she will probably go to bed early tonight because she really hadn't napped well today. And I know she's really tired. All about to say I'm going to have a silky peanut butter and spinach shake and we'll see you in a little while. Okay, I really tried to make an omelet tonight and I just really failed at it. Like, really failed at it. So I just turned into scrambled eggs again. But I went ahead and added some spinach to it to get the rest of my green in. So this is a cup of, that's half a cup of spinach because I have the other half of my dinner because I was going to try and make two omelets. As you can see, it didn't work out so well. So um, I added a cup of spinach to the entire thing and then of course two cups of egg beaters. Did you know that a carton of egg beaters is actually four cups because I was able to get through two lean and greens with it. Anyway, and then I've also got two tablespoons of guacamole which equals one healthy fat and I'll put two tablespoons of guacamole on the other half. This is just the Good and Gather which is the Target brand. Where's the, it's at the top, hold on. It's the Good and Gather brand. Um, homemade guacamole. You can also just do like regular avocado if you want to and it's one ounce which is like a half of a half of an avocado. But the guacamole comes with like peppers and it gives it a little bit of spice. So there's still ways to do a fat burn blitz and not have completely bland food. You know you can add different things to it and make it taste really good. So that's my lean and green again for this evening. And then I have some orders I need to work on tonight and just gonna be getting some stuff done tonight. Tomorrow we decided to go out to the ranch where Robbie is for just a couple hours. Um, OU is playing Texas, which is always a huge game. So we like to all hang out together. And so I'm gonna make a charcuterie board for the boys, but of course I'll take my fuelings. Nothing's gonna stop this fat burn blitz. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all in my cabinet. I made a promise to myself earlier that I was gonna try and go to bed earlier. <laughs> so by that I mean I'm gonna try and go to bed by 10 o'clock, it's currently 9.30. I'm gonna have a brownie, and then I'm gonna go take a shower, and I'm probably gonna watch some House Hunters as I'm going to sleep. Uh, my mom watches a lot of House Hunters, and when she stayed here after Avery was born, we watched some House Hunters, and then the past couple weeks when I've been back and forth between here and Victoria, I was watching a lot of House Hunters with her, so now I am kind of hooked on it. I don't know, I like to see the different people's budgets and kind of how they decide things that they like, because Robbie and I are by no means ready to move out of this house, but this is not our forever home. And so it's kind of cool to look and see like, what is the next thing that we want? You know, I know that we want some land at some point, which this is taking a complete and total turn. I'm making a brownie, but <laughs> I know we want some land at some point. And then I would love to not build our next house, but do some renovations on our next house. Ugh, I added a little bit too much water. Yikes. It's going to be kind of a sloppy brownie. Anyway, so I like to watch House Hunter. House Hunters. So I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to quickly take a shower. And the baby is still asleep. I just put her outlet sock on. Usually Robbie does that. I did it pretty well. I'm just hoping it doesn't go off in the middle of the night because in the past when I put her sock on, sometimes it gets loose and then we get like an alarm in the middle of the night that says that the placement's wrong. But it'll wake you up out of a dead sleep. So anyway, I'm gonna eat this brownie and that's it for today. I think tomorrow I might vlog, not just do a what I eat in a day. I might do an actual vlog, so we'll see. But until tomorrow, I love you all and God bless you.